Lowell Galindo here with Lance Blanks. Big 12 opener for Texas. Taking on Kate Cunningham. Potentially the number one pick in the draft. Definitely. For Oklahoma State. But he was harassed early. Yes, he was harassed. And he struggled to get it going. And Texas was pretty relentless in their pressure. But as the game wore on, Lowell, he started to figure things out and got a little more comfortable. And as he got comfortable, OSU got closer to Texas. Yeah, it was a five-point lead at the break for Oklahoma State. Texas came back, ran it up to 13. Excellent defense. And then, oh, don't take it out on the cutout, Matt Coleman. And then Andrew Jones. I mean, this is the guy that came in. He heard all the talk about Kai Jones and, and Kate Cunningham and Greg Brown, yet he tied his career high. Well, he was the difference maker, I thought, especially in the first half for Texas because he had 12 points. He was knocking shots down from the perimeter, also getting it done in the break situation. So he was huge. Andrew Jones, 8 of 17 shooting, 3 of 6 from outside, 22 points. And it was a slow start to the year for Jones, but he's certainly getting it going at the right time. Also missed the double double by just three rebounds. Greg Brown, though, he got that double double. Back-to-back -back games for him, great debut to his Big 12 career. Well, when I work with Bill Cartwright and Phoenix, he used to say, your stars have to be stars in order for you to win. And that's exactly what Greg Brown was today. He was a star at all phases of the game. Defensively, he was a star. You see it there. And in the late game situations, he was a star. You see it there with the huge rebounding. I thought he was the difference down the stretch, Lowell. Greg Brown, 24 points, 14 rebounds, and critical rebounds late. Texas, 1-0 in Big 12 play, taking down OSU by three.